Definition, a fat person sunburn. Solution, pot roast. And our solution to fun with a pun on television is definition. And now let's have some fun with the star of our show, Slim Jim Perry. Why, thank you, David. He noticed I lost some weight. Hello there. Welcome to Definition. Delighted to have you back here with us. If you've been with us for a few days, you know that we have a team of champions who have won four times. They're trying to become five-time champions. Let's meet them once again. Well, Jim, they're our brother partnership of Tony and Peter Shuchenko. Hello there, Tony. Next to me, Peter on the outside. We're very well with those four wins, but as Peter was saying, it gets, uh, it gets harder instead of easier, right? Definitely. Well, well, you got a couple of legs up here in this match, which we'll get to in a moment. But first of all, we will re-meet the challengers. They're a daughter and mother team, Deborah Alfano and June Barker. And this is Mother June here, and daughter Deborah out there. It's, uh, well, we were talking about where we stand. We play the best three out of five definitions for any new viewers. And unfortunately for you two ladies, it is two to nothing favor the champions. You're going to have to get three in a row if you're going to stop them. But you've been so close. It seems like you have just barely, they, they've gotten it when you knew it and you've just been a little off there. Maybe this will be your day. You got something lucky over there? Is that I it? don't know. Um, I just found it on the floor over there and it was oh. shining, so I picked it up. Oh, and so I... this became your lucky shiny <laughs> thing. It's called lucky the shiny thing from the floor. I always <laughs> carry it for luck there. Well, it looks like it's in the shape of a cross there. So. <laughs> Anything that'll help. All right, Deb and June, good luck. You need three in a row. Tony and Peter need one more definition to become five-time champions. And here we go. Houses that can't be robbed. Houses that cannot be robbed. Your trailing will start with you, Deborah. Give a letter away that you do not want. Uh, I don't want the X. There is no X, and that means June can take a letter that she does want. I'll take an E. An E, did you say? Yes, please. It's a good choice. There are two of them in that solution. One here, and here's a second. Now you've put a letter up there, and either of you could give me one guess. Do you know houses that cannot be robbed? There's the signal. Time is up. Over to Peter to give his first letter away of the day. Z. No Z. And Tony to take a letter. I'll take an R, please. R is in Robert. One R. One R that goes here. And you can win if you have a correct answer to houses that can't be robbed. Back over to Deborah. Give a letter away. Uh, let's give away the Q, please. No Q. Take one, June. I'll take an I. There is no I. No letter on the board, so no guess at houses that can't be robbed. Back to you, Peter. Give one away. J. No J. Take one, Tony. I'll take a T. T is in Tony. No T. And again, no guess. Have a little problem getting on track with this one. Hope you're playing along at home. Give one away, Deb. Let's give away the W, please. No W. Take one, June. I'll take an S. S's and Sam. Two S's. One here. Here is the second for your first definition of the match. Houses that can't be robbed. Over we go to Peter. Give one away. They're buzzing. Why? No Y. Take a letter, Tony. I'll take an L. L as in Larry. One L, one L that goes right here. You're five-time champions if you know houses that can't be robbed. Sherlock Holmes. That's exactly what it is for win number five. Yeah. <laughs> Sherlock Holmes. And Tony and Peter, congratulations. First of all, for winning that fifth game, you get this prize. This traditionally styled high back swivel rocker from Crayler features deeply padded semi-attached button tufted back with reversible seat cushion and tailored valance. Come home to Crayler value. And for being five time winners, the Minolda Maxim 5000 and 1800 AF flash. Enjoy creative photography the easy way. It's the world's easiest to use autofocus SLR. Perfect for the photographic hobbyist. Well, congratulations, just like it says. Congratulations, five time champions. One more bonus for cash coming up. We'll get to that in a moment. Have to say goodbye to Deborah in June and well they're hot as a firecracker mm -hmm. I sure. thank you for joining us from Hamilton Ontario I do hope you'll come back and join and see us again sometime thank you for being here mother June Barker and daughter Deborah Alfano thank you <laughs> now the bonus Tony and Peter and this bonus definition how the West was won how the West was won do you know what for $180 Bye, uh, Here come the letters. No. You're on your own. Give as many answers as you like. Alphabetically, here's your first letter for $170. How the West was won. 160. 
How the West Was Won. By a... No. No, can't be... Oh, yes, it could be by, but it isn't, since I've told you. <laughs> now you know it can't be by. <laughs> In a... 120, how the West was won. 110, how the West was won. So it can't be in. Hmm. On a... Uh-huh. On a wing and a prairie? That's a... Wait, what? On, on a wing and a prairie? That's right, uh. for $70. On a wing and a prairie. Switching on on a wing and a prairie. Got another $70. Well, gentlemen, you got five nice prizes, a great grand prize, $450 in cash. I congratulate you, and we will see you, too, the next time and have the Tournament of Champions. Thank you very much. Thank Tony, you. Peter, congratulations. Thank you very much. And we'll have two new teams and start it all over again right after this commercial timeout. Two new teams getting settled and all nervous and ready to go. We'll get to them after a look at the runner-up prizes. From Remington, the microscreen GTX 3000 and the Lady Remington cordless rechargeable shavers. Shave as close as a blade or you get your money back. Or from Wall, the 15-way back massager with remote control and heat. Lightweight and portable, one of several massagers. Brought to you by Wall. All righty. Here we go. David, who's the first team? Well, first of all, Jim, we have a husband and wife duo. Let's say hello to Bill and Jennifer Malone. Hello there, Bill. Jennifer, nice to have you Hi. here. Was I right? You're a little, little nervous there? Yes. yes. Okay, <laughs> let's get acquainted. Jennifer, homemaker, likes knitting, spinning, vegetarian cooking. Yes. Yes. All right. All right. Now, are you both vegetarians? Yes. Or, oh, well, that's good because, you know, my wife periodically, she'll say, I think I want to go vegetarian. And I say, good, bye-bye. You know, and then <laughs> it becomes awkward when it's only one, so... Uh, and Bill, a plastic mold designer, sounds interesting, like bulldogs, kites, and you broke into your own house? Yes, we moved from an apartment into our first home this summer, and I wasn't used to the locks being self-closing. Right. Because the apartment, you lock it yourself, so we left, take the dogs for a walk, and closed the door, and never had a key. Oh, I think, it happened to a few people, I think. <laughs> Good to have you here. You get comfortable, and we will meet the opposition. Okay, Jim, a mother and son team from Shawville, Quebec. Let's say hello to Lois and Robert Hodgins. Hello there, Lois. Robert, nice to have you joining us from Quebec. Nice to have you here. Let's see. Uh, Lois, you are retired. You like knitting, sewing, playing piano. You had a smoky problem in a motorhome? Well, I was visiting in a motorhome, and uh, I wasn't aware of all the electric things that go with it. Oh, yes. And uh, my son went to work, and I said, I'm going to put in a very quiet day, just relaxing. And after we left, I happened to use some hairspray, and a detector went off, like a smoke detector. Yeah. I thought it was a fire, and I pulled the thing off the wall, but it wasn't that. But it was something to do with gas. You That's know? a little nervous, and, huh? And the siren blew. He came home and said, how long has that been going? And I said, seven hours. You really had a relaxing day there, oh. didn't you, Lois? <laughs> 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 Robert, you are an entrepreneur. You manufacture sporting goods and toys uh, all across North America. You have an unusually large cat. Yes, we have a spotted leopard. Oh, that's a large cat. You have a spot. Do people come by and pet <laughs> your little tabby or not? No, not usually. Good no. thinking, smart. <laughs> How did you come to have a leopard as a pet? Um, I always had an interest in large cats and had the opportunity to uh, uh, work with the breeding of the leopards. And this is our third one we've had as a pet. Are they, are they nice as pets or just? They're, no, they don't make a, a normal house oh, pet. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to hear that, Robert, because <laughs> I sure in heck I'm never going to have one as a, as a pet. Now that you've talked me out of it there, Wow, but he's had three of them. <laughs> okay, let us get into the match. Starting the best three out of five with this definition. Why no one would buy the sculptor's work. Why no one would buy the sculptor's work. Let's start with Bill to give a letter away. Or excuse me, it'll be Jennifer to give one away. I'll give away an X, please. There is no X in Bill to take a letter. I'll take an E. Three E's. One E at the end of this word and two of them in the last word. Here and here. Do either of you know why no one would buy the sculptor's work? He was abandoned. Incorrect. Worth a try. You only get the one guess. Lois, give your first letter away. Oh, I'll give a Z. No Z. Robert, take a letter. An A. There are two A's. One A in the middle of this three-letter word, another A here. Got vowels in all the words. Do you have why no one would buy the sculptor's work? Back of it to Jennifer. Give a letter away. 
I'll give away a Y. No Y. Take a letter, Bill. I'll take an W. There is a W, one W at the beginning of this word. Your first consonant and your first definition, if you know why no one would buy the sculptor's work. <laughs> Back of it to Lois to give one away. I'll give the V. V as in Victor is a good choice. Son Robert, take a letter. O. Oh. No O. No letter on the board, no guess at why no one would buy the sculptor's work. Back to you, Jennifer, give one away. A K. There is no K. Take one, Bill. I take an H. H is in Harry. There are two of them. One completes this word, and here is another. But do you know why no one would buy the sculptor's work? Back over to Lois. Give a letter away. Um, Q. No Q. Take a letter, Robert. C. C is in Charles. One C goes here at the beginning of this word. I think you might have an idea. Do you know why no one would buy the sculptor's work? He was a chiseler. That's right. He was a chiseler. Yeah. Use a chisel to sculpt. And it is Lois and Robert leading one to nothing. Here is the next definition. Fair-haired lifeguard. Fair-haired lifeguard. <laughs> Fair-haired lifeguard. You're trailing. We'll start with you. Bill, this time to give a letter away. I'll give away an X. No X. And Jennifer, you are taking letters. I'll take an O, please. There is one O, one O that goes right here. First crack at fair-haired lifeguard. And we're over to Robert to give one away this time. I'll give away a Z. No Z. And Lois, you are taking letters. E. There are three E's. Very good choice. Two in this word, one at the end of this word. For your second definition, do you know fair-haired lifeguard? And we're over to Bill. Give one away. I'll give away a W. No W. Take one, Jennifer. I'll take an N. N as in Nancy. One N. One N that goes here. Fair-haired lifeguard. Back over to Robert. Give a letter away. I'll give away a K. No K. Lois, take a letter. B. B as in boy. Two Bs. One at the beginning of this word. Second at the beginning of this word. Do you know fair-haired lifeguard? A beached blonde. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. A beached blonde. That's exactly what it is. I wanted to make sure you had that beach and not bleach. Yes. We switched on the phrase a bleached blonde, but of course you'd find the lifeguard sitting on the beach. He is a beached, or she is a beached blonde. Why did I automatically make it a guy? I'd rather see beached blonde girl <laughs> lifeguards out there. <laughs> Two to, how about our camera? You guys agree? Yeah, and lady yeah. lifeguards, absolutely. <laughs> Two to nothing favor Lois and Robert. Bill and Jennifer, got to get going. Need this one to stay in the match. Why the car engine took singing lessons. Why the car engine took singing lessons. And Jennifer, it's their trailer. Give one away. A Z, please. No Z. Bill, to take a letter. I'll take an E. There are two E's. One E in this word, and the second E in this word. Do you know why the car engine took singing lessons? We're over to Lois. Give a letter away. An X. No X. Take a letter, Robert. A B. I'm sorry? B. B as in boy, no B. No letter on the board, no guess at why the, why the car engine took singing lessons. Jennifer, take one away. A Q? No Q, and Bill, I'll take, take one D. you need. I'll take a D. D as in dog, one D. One D at the end of this word. Do you know why the car engine took singing lessons? Back over to Lois, give a letter away. Mm, a V. V as in Victor, no V. Robert, take a letter. Um, O. An O. One O. One O at the end of this two-letter word. You can win with this. Why the car engine took singing lessons. Back over to Jennifer. Give a letter away. Give away a W. Uh oh. There's a W in that solution. Break for your opponents. You're giving them a letter W and with it a free guess. Lois and Robert, do you know why the car engine took singing lessons? Still your turn. That was a free guess. Give one away, Lois. A Y. Nice lady that you are. You're returning the favor. There is a Y in that solution. A Y that goes here, giving Bill and Jennifer a free guess. Why the car engine took singing lessons. Still your turn. Jennifer, give one away. Give away a K. No K. So this time, Bill can take a letter. I'll take a T. T as in Thomas. 
three T's, one here. Here's the second, here is the third. For your first definition, do you know why the car engine took singing lessons? To stay well-tuned? That's exactly what it is, and you're back in the match. Yeah, a well-tuned engine, singing tunes. And back to the match, right after this commercial timeout. Come on along and join the fun. To be part of our studio audience or a contestant, just write Definition CFTO TV, Box 9, Station O, Toronto, Ontario. M4A 2M9, Jim. Oh, boy. Did you nice. see that? Ooh. Yeah. Wayne, Wayne spent all those years working on Stars on Ice, and he's just going right <laughs> across the board and right back. It is two to one favor Lois and Robert. Bill and Jennifer got back in the match, and here's the next definition. The Looney Carpenter's Problem. The Looney Carpenter's <laughs> Problem. You like this one, I think. The Looney Carpenter's Problem. You are still trailing, so we're starting with you, Bill. Give a letter away. Give away an X. There is no X. And Jennifer, to take a letter. Take an S. S's and Sam, two S's. Here is one. Here's the second. To tie up the match, do you know the Looney Carpenter's Problem? And over to Robert. Give a letter away. No Z. No Z. Take a letter, Lois. T. T is in Thomas, no T. No letter on the board, no guess at the Looney Carpenter's problem. Bill, to give a letter. Um, I'll give away a K. There is no K. Take a letter, Jennifer. Take an L. L is in Larry, one L. One L, very importantly, at the beginning of this word. Do you know the Looney Carpenter's problem? Hello there. I'm sure that three seconds is over there, Robert. There, oh my. <laughs> If I had held my breath, I would have died. Uh, Robert, give a letter away. I'll give away a Q. There is no Q. Lois, you can take a letter. H. H is in Harry. Great choice. Two H's. One at the beginning of this word. Second at the beginning of this word. And you can win with this. Do you know the Looney Carpenter's problem? Oh, I thought they had it. Bill, back to you. Give one away. I'll give away a J. No J. Jennifer, take a letter. Take an A. Two A's. One A goes here, second by itself here, to tie up the match. Do you know the Looney Carpenter's problem? Time. I bet you know it at home. Robert, give a letter away. I'll give away a V. No V is in Victor. Lois, take a letter. A D. D is in dog. One D that completes this word. And again, for the win, the Looney Carpenter's problem. Time! Over to Bill. You must know this one at home. I bet you do. Bill, give a letter away. I'll give away a W. Bill doesn't oh, know oh. it. He just gave a great letter to Lois and Robert. The letter W goes here for the win. The loony carpenter's problem. He had a screw loose. That's right. That's the phrase. He had a screw loose. Oh, you knew it? Oh, and you were, you were, th oh, you went to give away the wine, you gave yeah. away the W's, oh my goodness. Well, Lois and Robert did not mind that at all because they have their first win and they win this prize. The World Book 22 volume encyclopedia, including research guide and index volume. Easy to use, easy to read, and easy to understand. Furnished by World Book Childcraft International. And again, our congratulations. We'll play the bonus for cash in a moment. And uh, well, that is a toughie there, Bill and Jennifer. Yeah, I, it, it happens. I, I warn people a lot, mm -hmm. but you, you're thinking of the answer. You know it. You're thinking of the letters in the answer. But of course, you first got to give one away. And that's you were thinking about what you wanted in there. But it was Jennifer's turn to take. Well, we're sorry about that. I do hope you'll come back and see us again sometime. Okay, thank you. Thank, thank you for joining us. Bill and Jennifer Malone. <laughs> and Lois and Robert, the new champions. And this bonus definition. Getting through an aerobics class. <laughs> Getting through an aerobics class. <laughs> Do you know it for $200? Here come the letters alphabetically. Now you're on your own, so you can give as many answers as you'd like. Here's your first letter for $190. Getting through an aerobics class. Very well-known phrase. 180. Getting through an aerobics class. One sixty. Getting through an aerobics class. One forty. Don't take aerobics. No, you don't take aerobics. But <laughs> you got well. You know you're you're working out at an aerobics class. That's the big thing you have to know. You're really working out hard, as a matter of fact. 
110, getting through an aerobics class. I made it to the end. Something of a fitness. Boy. Mm -hmm. Boy. Survival of the fittest. Yes, for $90, you got it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> In an aerobic class, you would assume that you are fit, and if you make it to the end, that is survival of the fittest. Yeah. <laughs> I bet a lot of people have felt that way with an aerobics class. Mm -hmm. That's $90 for Robert and Lois, our congratulations. And a new team of challengers coming out, and as they come out, Dave Duvall will introduce them. Jim, I'd like you to say hello to a sister duo. As you do, we'll meet Marjorie Lay and Francis Davidson. Hello there, Francis, here next to me. Why don't you step down into my pit, and Marjorie, go around the other side there, all right? There you go. Now we'll get acquainted here. Frances, you are a retired secretary. Right. You like gardening and bowling, and your dog hides his bones in the most unusual places. Why don't you slide in and tell us all about that? Well, he scratches on the hardwood floor as if he's digging a hole. Oh. Then he puts in the bone and he fills in the hole with his nose. Oh, he does, he does a pantomime <laughs> of, uh, of digging. Well, obviously he's got good instincts there and you must have wonderful floors. <laughs> yeah, they're all scratched. Uh, yes. Marjorie, are also retired, a retired typist. Mm -hmm. You like crafts and bowling. Yeah, I do. What, what kind of crafts do you like? Oh, knitting, sewing, any kind of craft. Do you like woodworking? Not much. Oh, it's a pity. I thought maybe you could get come over to Francis' house <laughs> and, and fix the floors there. Well, I, we, I tried, Francis. Thanks. All right, we wanted to get the two of you out here and get comfortable. And now that you are comfortable, we will relax here for a moment and take time out and uh, pay for all this mess. <laughs> Let us quickly get into the match. What the girlfriend was to the glass installer. What the girlfriend was to the glass installer. Give a letter away, Francis, that you do not want. Z. There is no Z. That means Marjorie can take a letter that she does want. I'll take a T. T is in Thomas. You're off to a good start with two T's. They go together. Here's one. Here's the second. Do either of you know what the girlfriend was to the glass installer? And we're over to the champions and Lois to give a letter away. X. There is no X. And Robert to take a letter. H. H is in Harry. There are two of them. One goes at the beginning of this word, the other at the beginning of this word. Do you know what the girlfriend was to the glass installer? Putty in his hands. That's exactly what it is. Yes, indeed. Well done. So Lois and Robert get the first definition, and we will continue this match tomorrow. I hope you'll join us then on Definition. Prizes on Definition include the T-Fal Super Fryer, fries without odors or splatter, and the T-Fal Sandwich Waffle Maker with interchangeable non-stick plates, both from T-Fal by Seb. Promotional consideration provided by Attends loss of bladder control need no longer be such a problem. Disposable Attends specially designed to help keep you dry, comfortable, and confident. And the Canon Sure Shot Supreme with advanced features such as auto flash, extended range autofocus, and many more. And Remington, with the Remington microscreen and Lady Remington his and hers cordless rechargeable shavers. Shave as close as a blade or you get your money back.